interviewing Scott Chica, the CEO of Corporate Guys Music. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's get it started. All right, we're going to go right into it. As CEO, what's your vision for the city? So my vision for the city is to have a place where people that are coming out of town and even the locals know us for starting a movement in Tampa. Right now, Tampa is a beautiful city. It has a lot of scenery, it has a lot of great things, but there's not a particular, like either music entertainment or even artists that is blowing up in Tampa. Um, so our goal is to have something based here and eventually we're gonna sprout out and they're gonna know some different places. But we wanted to start here because Tampa has this place and everything, the foundation is great, but it's not vibrant. There's not music that is, um, right now there's not a set music. So like, you know, like in New York, we have, um, we, people get sturdy, there's like a whole movement, yeah. drill music, Jersey, we have Jersey Club. There's like a particular movement in those areas, but Tampa doesn't have that. Um, so what we're looking for is for artists and people that are willing to start a movement um, because that's what we're trying to do with this company. Got it. So where are you from? So I'm a mutt. <laughs> I'm originally <laughs> from New York. Um, so I lived a lot of different places. I was born in the Bronx. Um, and I lived in Queens, I lived in Brooklyn, but I also lived in the DMV area. The people that are from the DMV, they know that it is DC, Maryland, and Virginia. I lived in all three. Um, I also lived in Houston for a bit, and now I'm in Florida. Um, right. Okay, so New York being the main one, why Tampa and not New York? Because New York already has something established, right? New York is a wonderful place if you go over there, especially for the arts. New York is very known for that. Um, it's very easy to like get gigs or not, if you know the right people it is. Um, and there's a lot of movements already started over there. But Tampa not having that or having a particular place where you know this is the place, like if you're in the music industry and this is what you wanna do, we don't have somewhere to go to or like a record label, we don't have anything like that. Where we know if I am with this company, I know I can go this way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like over there we have Rockefeller, we have different mm -hmm. things, where here we don't have that. Right? So people move outside of the city in order to make it. Yeah. Right? So we don't want them to leave. We want anybody that's talented to do it here first. You know? Got it. So why did you get chosen as the CEO of this company? So I'm very versed. Um, so I'm Dominican actually, so I speak Spanish as well. Okay. Um, so I'm very well versed where it comes to like just me being in different cities and living in different cities. I've also lived in DR for like three months. Like I'm very versed in Dembo, Bachata, Merengue. So I'm like very versed with the Spanish culture, but I'm also very versed where it comes to hip hop. Like growing up, I used to listen to Biggie. My brother only listened to Biggie. Like mm -hmm. I have like this craziest like verse of music. Like I love country music. I love music that is good, okay. right? So like I'm just very well versed. And then I'm also like a very people's person. I love to have um, just everybody in an environment where we all thrive. So that's why I believe I was here and put in this position. Got it. What's your history background with music? So I had um, a couple of people for a bit. I was going into the artist um, role and I was like writing my own music and stuff like that where I believe I could get to that at a point. Um, but I like more of the A&R. Um, I like that. I like also just being in charge of people because I just love, like I said, to have people in a place where we can all thrive. Um, like I said, I've been in DR a couple of times, so like even out there, like I have a couple of people with artists that I either help um, with their career and stuff like that, like funding them. Mm -hmm. um, but I just really like the whole aspect of it. Got it. Do you make music? So I do. I, I have like a couple of songs that I have made. Um, but I just feel like I'm more broad than just an artist. Like, I could get into that point where I could do both. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I like to wear multiple hats. Like, I, it's very yeah. hard to entertain myself, so I just do it all. Um, but I definitely have music and I have things that I have done as well. Got it. What genre of music were you making? So, particularly, it's just more so like, I love Drake. <laughs> um, so, so, it's more like that hip hop, like R&B type of thing. Um, but I'm also was getting into the Spanish side of it. So like in the art, like I said, um, Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. um, I'll go over there and I'm getting into the bow as well. So these are different genres that like I would like to get into. I don't I don't put myself in a certain like genre. I just want to make good music. Yeah. You know? Where are your headquarters located? So our headquarters. 
Harvard is actually in the Wells Fargo um, building in downtown Tampa. What should people know about you and the company? So we're one of one. You're not going to find something like us. Um, where we help you with your marketing, um, we also help you put, put yourself in a place that you particularly would imagine, imagine yourself in. Like I live by um, the quote, the sky's the limit, of course by the great old biggie. Um, and I just believe in that, like you shouldn't limit yourself or you shouldn't limit what we can do, right? Yeah. If you want it, if you have a vision, we're here to help you with your vision and make it come true and make sure that everything that you want, we're gonna make it like, we're gonna make sure we put that into fruition. Got it. So in a previous interview, you had stated that Tampa doesn't have a type of music identity. What kind of music identity were you aiming for? So I feel like with this city particularly, it should be something more vibrant where it comes to like techno-ish, right? But like techno, but with lyrics, not just like beats, where beats are good, but because this is such a city that it's sunny most of the time, and if it's raining, it's only raining for a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eventually there's gonna be a pool, eventually there's gonna be a pool party somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's more like of a vibrant, like kind of techno kind of thing, yeah. but with lyrics, right? So let's see like, like Jersey Club, right? So I lived in Jersey City for a bit, mm -hmm. and Jersey City Club wasn't big until now. When I used to live in Jersey City, that was like 20, so I was in, I don't remember the year because I moved so much, but it was like 15 years ago, give or take. That's when it started. It's not mainstream until now, mm -hmm. right? There's sounds that are really good that don't really make it out of their city. But, right, if we put lyrics and we put techno sounds to it, like if it's here, a lot of time, if you've ever been to Water, mm -hmm. downtown Tampa, all right, so Water, downtown Tampa, they have like techno music and stuff like that, a lot of DJs, yeah. right? You put lyrics to it, you started here, yeah. and then you start expanding it. Like, here, starting here first, because you have a movement. Once you have that movement with that music, that's when you send it out to the world. And eventually, people start to pick it up. But you started here first, and I feel it's gonna be techno, but with lyrics to it, not just the beats. Okay. Where, like, I like to listen to techno because of the upbeat, mm -hmm. but I just don't like it because eventually there's nothing you're listening to. You're yeah. just moving, you're bouncing, it's cool. But like yeah. move and bounce and then give me some words and like something catchy, <laughs> mm -hmm. then it's a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I see the vision there, I yeah. see the vision. Um, okay, so what does a successful 2024 look like for the company? So honestly, it definitely looks like having more people signed to the company. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, we're also gonna have a festival in May, is to have the artists to fill the stage and also as well just get our name out more that where our particular vision from the beginning is to be the staple of Tampa, right? And that's what 2024 would be, is making ourselves well-known and putting ourselves in the map. Got it. Okay, so speaking of that festival, um, we've actually heard that you guys are doing some kind of event in March. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we are doing something in March. So what are we doing is right now is like looking for um, local artists that would like to join the team. Um, and what we're going to do is have auditions. So we're going to be marketing to different um, venues, different areas. And it's just to bring out the best talent. And then we're going to select a few people out of the people that come and audition for us. And then from there on, we'll start a career with us. Got it. All right. And then a little bit more about the festival in May, because those are two different yeah, events, correct? Yeah, of course. Okay, so yeah. tell us a little bit more about the festival in particular. Of course. So then in March, we're going to have those artists. We're going to um, give them help them with stage present, help them with whatever they need help with. Mm -hmm. And then in May, we're going to have, that's going to be our festival. So the artists that we get from March, um, that's, we're going to move them over to May for the festival. All right, perfect. So yes. that's, that's cool. So you're going to get some artists, find some artists, and then y'all are going to really do like a big show. Yes, of course. Got so our idea is to start a year, launch it um, in May. Um, and then yearly, we're looking back to doing it every single year. So this is going to be like a main like a main event where I was saying something for people to come back to like when they come to Tampa what are you going to do come to the festival in May so it's like something we're uh, going to come back to so kind of like the Gasparilla music festival that correct we're doing here correct so like okay. a lot of people come out of town for Gasparilla it's going to be just like that but it's going to be for music and that's going to be in May what makes that music festival different from the regular Gasparilla music festival it's a lot different so it's going to be um, even if they do have you know local artists as well but I think for us is a whole different thing. Like what Gasparilla is, Gasparilla, you know, you dress as pirates and stuff 
like yeah. that's his own event. Like for us, it's gonna be our corporation, ourselves, and that's gonna be. It's like basically like Dreamville. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People go over there to see, you know, J Cole's J Cole and like the artists that he has and stuff yeah. like that sort, right? So it's gonna be like that, like OVO Fest. So it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be our corporation of just like our um the people that are under our label, you know? Got it, all right. Well, that's all the questions that I do have for you, so thank you so much for, you know, coming out and joining and answering these questions for me. Um, that's it. Thank you. That's